Norman Brothers lumber is harvesting burnt trees after a wildfire in Joe Rich last year. 600 cubic meters a day, which is 12 truckloads a day. And there's about 10 to 11,000 cubic meters of wood in here. The plan is to start at the bottom next to Highway 33 where it's dried out. It's south aspect, so it dried. The snow melted quicker and dried out. And as we go, we'll just move our way up the hill where it's still the snow has just come off up on top and it's still fairly saturated. But uh, over the course of six, seven weeks, we hope it'll dry out. It's fairly challenging terrain. It's, uh, it's got some steep pitches. It's, it's fairly rocky. The duff layer has been burnt off. So you're right down to the rock in places. Um, if you get excessive moisture, that ash that's on the ground gets really slimy and it's difficult for the machines to work. The Ministry of Forests has given us approval to close the High Rim Trail for the duration of the project. So we've got signage up in place and we would ask the public to stay out. These trees are fairly dangerous because they're brittle and as a, uh, a buncher grabs a tree at the bottom, the top could snap off and and fall in any direction he can't control it. Once the trees are gone we'll start reforesting probably next spring and uh, get the area replanted and, and growing trees again. Okay. Work is expected to be completed in the third week of June. For Castanet News, I'm Alana Kelly and Joe Rich. Castanet has webcams and lots of them. Click the cams button in our yellow masthead to see them all.